Good afternoon, I'm Hippie Swift and this is the Ultimate Touring Bike. Today we're going to focus mainly at looking at my sleeping bags I use for bicycle touring and travelling. First of all I'll take you through this. This is a Galert sleeping pod. It's quite a rounded shape and you move your legs and arms quite freely in it. And this is one that I highly recommend, although I don't use it anymore. As you can see, it's quite a large shape and the circumference is roughly a third extra to a normal sleeping bag on the top three quarters. It's a very nice sleeping bag. It's not by any means warmest, but it is a double layered synthetic material and it does the job quite nicely. Here we have an Azuma sleeping bag and it's a triple layer sleeping bag which means basically it has three layers of synthetic insulin within the sleeping bag itself. The outer cover features a nice water repellent material, although I wouldn't trust, trust it in too heavy storms sitting solely on your back rack. Now it's unwrapped, you can see that the legs are quite skinny from the thighs down, which is kind of irritating at night when you want to move about, although it does give you good elbow room so you move around a little bit I say. There's a good full length zip right down to your feet and for the winter it's a trip like I say before it's a triple layer artificial material inside thermal material inside insulating you from the elements on cold winter nights. Here we have an Urban Escape ultralight class sleeping bag and this is brilliant for your summer and autumn cycling which I mainly do in the winter I used to put uh, a liner in this, like a cotton polyester liner in your sleeping bag to keep it a bit warmer or just to keep it clean. But now what I do is I wear under underclothed thermals or just have the thermals on as pyjamas at night time. It's a really effective way to carry an ultralight sleeping bag without having a treble layer sleeping bag all the time. So if you're cycling in winter, try going with a small sleeping bag just wear a layer or two of thermals. When you unwrap it, it looks something like this. The material is fairly thin, but it's thicker than you would expect for an ultralight sleeping bag. Uh, the material is very slippery, so you do slip off your uh, sleeping mat sometimes. Although, if, when you have your sleeping mat and sleeping bag in a bivy bag, you don't really get that problem as they're all kind of connected together. This is what I use now and I'll highly recommend these. They've got a really wide top gradually going down rather than a cut finish which most sleeping bags have. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it educated and inspired somebody into making the right choice for their sleeping bag needs. If you'd like to see more of this type of content then please click up there in the top right hand corner and you'll see a little round eye icon if you click that, that will take you through more of my videos related to bicycle touring and the tours themselves. Till next week, stay safe and I hope you find peace.